Hello students, welcome once again to your online class and here is the another video for you all. Come join me to your class 11th and for learning the subject accountancy. In this video, we will be learning about the types or branches of accounting. The first one is financial accounting. The main purpose of this branch is to record the business transactions in a systematic manner to a certain profit or loss of accounting period by preparing a profit and loss account and to present the financial position of business by preparing a balance sheet. So the accounting is divided into different branches and each and every branch has got a purpose of its own. Like in financial accounting, this branch records the business transaction to find out the profit and loss and the financial position of the business. Cost accounting. The main purpose of cost accounting is to ascertain the total cost and per unit cost of goods produced and services rendered by a business. It also estimates cost in advance and helps management to exercise strict control over cost. Now, like how we have said that accounting is divided into different branches or types and according to our purpose, we have to maintain different types of accounting. So the cost accounting, the purpose is to find out the total cost, cost of making the product and per unit cost that has been incurred in each good and through this accounting, the cost can be estimated in advance which can help the management to control over the extra cost. Management Accounting The main purpose of this branch is to present the accounting information in such a way as to assist the management in planning and controlling the operations of a business. These include ratio analysis, budgetary control, fund flow statement, cash flow statement, etc. So the type of accounting here, which is management accounting, this type of accounting helps the management to find out what is the status of the business and to plan out and control the working in the business and they know this by comparing the ratio and by controlling the having the budgetary control and knowing about the in and outflow of cash and funds in different departments tax accounting this branch of accounting is used for tax purposes. Income tax and GST are computed on this basis, basis of this accounting. So the tax accounting is made for finding out the amount that has to be paid as income tax or GST. And so this is used for the tax purposes. Social Responsibility Accounting The society provides the infrastructure and the facilities without which business cannot operate at all. Hence, the business also has the responsibility of the society to the society. Social Responsibility Accounting is the process of identifying, measuring and communicating the contribution of a business to the society. The contribution consists of providing employment to underprivileged providing financial and manpower support for public programs, environmental contributions, etc. So in the modern times, this is one of the kind of accounting which has come into presence, the social responsibility accounting. We know that a business cannot exist without the society. The society has a big contribution in the fluent working of the business and so it is the responsibility of the business to provide and contribute towards the society 
by providing employment financial supports in various public programs environmental contributions and all this record is been kept in social responsibility accounting auditing internal and external auditing falls under the category of public accounting external auditing provides financial statement to a third party for financial feedback internal auditing determines the effectiveness of internal accounting processes an internal auditor can review employee departmental responsibilities management policies and approval procedures on related projects in turn they provide useful feedback that can help a company to become more profitable and efficient so the auditing both internal and external falls under the category of public accounting the external auditing provides financial statement to the third party we have got the external auditors who come and audit and get the information and the internal auditing it determines the accounting process the effectiveness of internal accounting process and this is done time to time to check that the accounting has been done in an effective way an internal auditor reviews the employee departmental responsibilities management policies approves procedures on various related projects and also provides useful feedback to help the company to become more profitable and efficient in future accounting information systems accounting information system manage the improvement of the successful accounting procedures employees working in this field decide on the best time to install updated technology and monitor the progress of existing systems to determine if there is an increase in productivity over a given time frame so here the word information system with this word we can understand that in this present time of doing accounting we have everything which is done technologically with the help of the computer and the technology and so the work of such accounting is to install any updated technology and to see that the progress of existing system is increasing the productivity in a given time period or time frame fiduciary accounting fiduciary accounting is the procedure of trusting one individual to handle financial accounts they are obliga obligated to serve on behalf of their clients for accounts tied to real estate trust funds investments and other also they must give relevant financial information to their clients once a year which includes a summary of all account schedule of receipts gains losses and the assets they have at their disposal so the type of accounting here the fiduciary accounting is the procedure of one individual who is handling the financial account and this individual is working on behalf of various clients who have invested their funds investment and time to time yearly they need some information the summary regarding the accounts gains losses and assets that they have at their disposal forensic accounting forensic accounting requires accountants to reconfigure a company's financial information when some information is missing or not available to review the goal of forensic accounting is to gather all available documentations and accurately and comprehensively record all credit debit and cash transactions in financial statements these professionals often work on legal cases involving fraud claims and disputes so i think 
this type of accounting must have become quite familiar to each one of us we are watching the news and we have heard about the ed directorate of enforcement who the department which checks any kind of fraud that has been done in the finance and so the forensic accounting it requires the accountant who f try to find out if there is any information missing in the accounting record or they review to find out if there is any kind of fraud or any dispute in the financial records public accounting public accounting refers to businesses that provide accounting advice to clients based on their needs they can work in auditing assist with tax return consult on procedure tailored to the installation of technology or computer programs and provide legal advice so public accounting we can say it is a group of many work that comes under the public accounting auditors the accountants who help in tax return the accountants who help to consult in the procedure of any tailored to the installation of technology now tailored means made according to your preference or any legal advice so all this comes under the public accounting government accounting government accountants manage the financial planning and allocation of resources to the departments within a local state or federal government this type of accounting has standards that must comply with the governmental accounting standards board gasp who is responsible for developing consistent accounting procedures for local and state governments they also monitor a government's budget and allocate funds appropriately so in the government accounting the accountants they manage the financial planning and look how the resources are allocated in different departments within the local state and the central government and they have to work within the gas governmental accounting standard boards and assist in the procedure of maintaining accounts for local and state government and they also have to check into the government's budget how they are been allocated in different places the allocation must be done appropriately and needfully next we will see users of accounting information now the accounting information is not only needed by the owners of the business but there are some other groups now let us have a look to who are these groups Accounting information is used by various groups of people who have contact with the business enterprise. These users may be classified into two groups. Internal users. The persons who have a direct interest in the business enterprise such as owners and management. owners owners contribute capital in the business and as such want to know the profitability and financial soundness of the business management they need accounting information for the efficient and smooth running of the business enterprise their needs are met by the accounting information provided by published reports to the man to the business such as profit and loss account balance sheet and cash flow statement so the first group is internal users the internal users are directly into the business enterprise they are the owners and the management and owners they says they have contributed capital they want to know the profit profitability and financial soundness of the business and the management they want to know the efficient and smooth running of the business by the report that has been published in form of profit and loss account balance sheet and different 
financial statements next users we have are external users individuals or organization who have present or future interest in the business enterprise but are not the part of management so it is not only the owners who contribute capital or the management who looks after the smooth running of the business but there are outsiders also involved in the running of the business like investors creditors and the organization that provides loan to the business and so they also want to know the present and future of the business enterprise some of external users are so let us look into few examples of external users and what is their requirement of need potential investors to judge how safe and rewarding the proposed investment will be short term creditors example suppliers about the credit worthiness of the business enterprise like the suppliers who provide goods on credit will want to know what is the credit worthiness what is the financial um, position of the business whether they will be able to pay the amount in advance or on time long term creditors financial institutions financial institutions like bank or the institutions which provide short term and long term loans to judge whether their principal and the interest thereof will be repaid when due so they want to know the financial position to see that the principal and the interest amount on the loan will be repaid whenever it is due employees about the profits of a business to assess the ability of the business to pay higher wages and bonus so the workers will also want to know about the profit so that they can demand for high wages and bonus tax authority for the assessment of income tax goods and service tax gst etc government and their agencies to form policies relating to taxation allocation of resources and for providing subsidies now subsidies is the relief rate given on certain raw materials to the producers social responsibility groups environmentalists the group who are associated and interested with the protection of environment on the impact on environment and the steps taken by enterprise for protection of the environment public knowing the future plan of the enterprise like providing employment supplying goods to customers etc here public comprises of both the workers customers and so they also want to know about the enterprise now we'll look into the advantages or uses of accounting the first one is helpful in management of business it provides information for the efficient running of the business to help know whether sales are increasing or decreasing estimate cash receipt and cash disbursement it helps in decision making and controlling the cost for example what should be the selling price how much discount should be offered etc the second advantage provides complete and systematic record it keeps prompt and systematic record of all the transactions and summarizes them in order to provide a true picture of the activities of the business entity so the accounting is very much helpful to the business to know how much is the sale increasing or decreasing the in and out of the cash and to decide the selling price discount and various offers that can be given and it helps to keep a prompt that is quick and systematic record and summarize them as a true picture for of the activities of the business entity information regarding profit or loss it helps report the net result of business activities of an accounting period the profit and loss account prepared at the end of each accounting period so it provides information 
about how much is the net profit or loss incurred in the business at the end of each accounting period either monthly quarterly or with six months or yearly accounting period information regarding financial position it reports the financial position of the business by preparing balance sheet at the end of each accounting period balance sheet discloses the position of assets liabilities and capitals helpful in assessment of tax liability now tax is liability because we have to owe it to the government properly maintained records will be great help when the firm is assessed to income tax or gst helpful in prevention and detection of errors and frauds evidence in legal matters properly maintained accounts supported by authenticated documents are accepted by courts as firm evidence so if there is any legal matter or any case which is sued against the business so they can present the authenticated documents that is maintained account to the court as evidence helpful in raising loans accounting information is of great help while raising loans from banks or other financial institutions such institutions before sanctioning loan screen various financial statements of the firm so if the firm wants to raise loan from banks or from any financial institution they can present the accounting information as the before the sanctioning or before the loan is been provided to them so it is helpful for raising the loans for the business helpful in partnership accounts accounting record provide all the information de- needed at the time of admission of a partner retirement or death of a partner and dissolution of the firm so at the time of admission at the time of retirement or death what will be the amount paid to the retired person or to the uh, executor or the person who is uh, who dies in the time period during the partnership in the business or when the firm has to be dissolved or closed down because of the inability to run the business because they have become bankrupt or due to any reason given by the court now let us look into few of the disadvantages or limitations of accounting so even though the accounting is very much necessary to find out the financial position of the business and to know the in and out of cash and the value of the assets and the liability that has to be paid with its needs and advantages there are some disadvantages of accounting and this might be very surprising for you all but there are few disadvantages the first one is accounting information is expressed in terms of money the accountant measures only those events that are financial nature that is capable of being expressed in terms of money non monetary items or events which cannot be measured are not recorded in accounting so here there can be some benefit which the firm can get like the good name of someone or the help given by the experienced person but since it is not measured in terms of money we don't record it in the accounts and even if there is any kind of loss like strike or like uh, lockouts done by the workers which cannot be measured in terms of money will not be recorded as a loss in the business in terms of accounting accounting information is based on estimates some accounting datas are based on estimates and some estimates may be inaccurate since the accountant is a human being and 
it is the tendency of the human being to make mistake and so maybe some of the estimate on the accounting on the information based can be inaccurate or not properly presented next we have is accounting information may be biased accounting information is not without personal influence or bias of an accountant in measuring income accountant has a choice between different methods of inventory valuation depreciation methods treatment of capital and revenue items etc hence due to lack of objectivity income arrived at may not be correct in certain cases so sometimes the accounting information can be biased biased means when you prefer something more than the other like when i'm biased towards some group of students i like some students more than the other and so when the accountant has to choose among different methods sometimes there is a personal influence like the method of inventory valuation of calculating the inventory like the common method we have is lifo and fifo last in first out and fifo first in first out so among this method both the method will give a different result depreciation method straight line method and uh, the written down value method and so these different methods of maintaining the depreciation will give different results or some revenue can be treated or capital can be treated in different way some of the expenses can be treated as capital expenditure revenue or either revenue expenditure and so due to such personal influence or bias of the accountant between the choice made between the methods of maintaining account can bring different results of the accounting information fixed assets are recorded at original cost the values of fixed assets change over time and so there may be a great difference between original cost and current replacement cost balance sheet may not show true and fair review of financial position of a particular date since the fixed asset that is recorded in the balance sheet is as per the amount or historical amount at which or original amount at which the asset was been purchased so it sometimes cannot show a true picture of the financial position because the current replacement cost of the asset can be different it can be higher or lower than the original cost accounting can be manipulated accounting information may not be used as the only test of managerial performance as profit can be manipulated and misrepresented this can be one of the great disadvantage because there is a chance of the profits to be manipulated or misrepresented usually when they don't want to pay the real tax they manipulate or misrepresent the financial statement on the basis of which the income tax or gst has been given to the government money as a measurement unit changes in value the value of the money does not remain stable unless price level changes are considered in measurement of income the accounting information will not show true financial result so here we are talking about the change in the value of money the price level in the time of inflation what happens the value of the money becomes less because everything becomes expensive the thing that you were able to buy in 100 rupees you are not able to afford to buy that in 100 rupees the value of 100 rupees becomes less so here we cannot measure the financial result with the value of money because the value of money does not remain stable or same it goes the price level changes it becomes high or the value of the rupee becomes higher or 
lower usually the value of the money becomes lower as the time changes thank you for watching